This is the Ring Car Cam. Basically like Ring Security, but for your car. Let's open this box, see what's inside, and then get it installed. Inside you'll find the device, which has a light on top that's also a button. Here's the hinge where you can tilt and adjust the camera, and this is a handy privacy cover for when you don't want to record inside the car. You'll also find a power cable, OBD adapter, which allows the device to connect to the car's battery, and then the extra pieces you might need for installation, which we'll talk a little bit more about later in the video. First, to make sure that my ring car cam can connect to the internet, I'm gonna make sure I'm parked in a spot with good cellular reception. If you can also park within range of your home Wi-Fi network, like here, even better. First step is opening the Ring app and tap Set up a device. From there, we can scan the barcode at the bottom of the device, and then the Ring app will walk us through every step of the install. Now I'm gonna lay the long power cable across the dashboard and plug one end into the car cam itself. The cable needs to reach past the halfway point of the dash. Okay, I'm just gonna set the camera down for now on the dash, we'll come back to that in a sec. I'm gonna plug the other end of the cable into the OBD adapter, then bring that end of the cable down towards my vehicle's OBD port. Mine's right here, super easy. If you need help finding yours in your vehicle, Ring has a handy sight right here. Once you're plugged in, the light on top of the camera should turn on. Yep, just like this. If it doesn't light up right away, just try starting the engine and in 10 to 30 seconds, the light should start pulsing green. Now it's time to find a pathway for the cable. And I wanna start this process from the bottom up to avoid any slack as I'm tucking it in. Starting at the OBD port, I'll just route the cable up over the left side of the dashboard and then run it along the base of the windshield. I'm making sure to take up any slack as I go and collect any excess on the right side of the dashboard here on the other side of the car cam rather than in the footwell. Okay, now I'm ready to test fit the car cam in the dash. I'm gonna just gently push the narrow end of the car cam into the gap between the center of the dashboard and the windshield, taking the cable with it, just like this. If it doesn't fit tightly, you can always add the included spacer to the end of the cam, but this looks like it's gonna fit just great. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that back out and set it down again. I'm gonna clean the inside of the windshield with the alcohol pad so that the car cam will stick easily and it'll help make sure it always stays nice and stuck. Okay, now I'm just gonna let the windshield dry. Now it's time to get this baby fully installed. I'll just remove this sticker, and then just like I did before, slowly but firmly push the narrow end of the car cam into place between the dashboard and the windshield, taking the cable down into that gap with it. Now I'll lift the cam up and press until the adhesive pad fully contacts the windshield and apply pressure for a full 30 seconds. Might seem like overkill, but it really makes a difference. I wanna make sure this is good and stuck. Okay, now starting from the OBD2 port, I'm gonna use this little cable tuck tool to push the cable into all the little nooks and crannies across the dashboard. Just like this little nook and cranny right here. Any excess cable I find along the way, I'll just keep bringing it up and tucking it into the passenger side of the dashboard gap here on the far side of the device. Ring also included these little cable clips which can help secure the cable at any point in your car. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna do a quick safety check of everything before we go further. I'm gonna make sure the car cam is firmly attached to the windshield with its adhesive, that the cable is tucked in and secured with no loose or hanging sections, and that the cable is routed safely away from the pedals and the gear shift in the footwell. And now I'm ready to finish installation in the Ring app. And there you have it, we are good to go. And then check this out. You can see the camera from inside and out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.